Hey Bridget guys, so it is Mother's Day and earlier today we went on a nice little family hike. We spent some time in nature, it was really beautiful and we were sweating, it was so hot walking around. So when we got home, um, the kids had ice cream and I had a popsicle and now we're gonna go get in the pool because it's about 80 degrees, it feels really good and I feel like jumping in the pool. So I'm actually wearing the bikini bottoms that I always wear, they're high waist. I think I got them from like a Gossy or something, but I'm gonna wear this sports bra with it because I really wanna get tan. It's not the most complimentary. It's not the most complimentary outfit, but I really want my stomach to get tan. So yeah, I'm kinda tired because we stayed up really late last night drinking, but I'm gonna push through it because I don't wanna waste this beautiful day. And bro, chicas, it is Monday, May 11th. I feel so cozy right now. So I got this shirt for my husband a while ago. I thrifted it in, where did I thrift this? I think I thrifted it at Savers. That's where it was, Savers. It's uh, uh, Randy, wait, Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah, it says Savage. <laughs> Anyways, he said that he never wears it, so I was like, okay, I'll wear it. So I'm having a little monochromatic gray moment, but why do I feel like so comfy and adorable right now? I don't know, I love comfy outfits. The other day, I wore jeans because we bought the fight, the USC fight, UFC fight, why can I never say that? And we invited our neighbors to come watch it in our driveway while social distancing so we could meet our neighbors. And it was a really fun night and we drank and we talked and we laughed and we watched the fight and it was so awesome. But I wore jeans and I wore like a nice shirt, just like a t-shirt, but you know, I just wanted to look a little bit presentable. I put like the tiniest bit of makeup on and I had my hair all straight, um, but I hate jeans. I hate them, I hate them. I hate them, dude. Yes, they're tight on me, bro. Like, I just, ugh. I mean, yeah, yeah, I could buy some new ones in a larger size, which I'll probably do eventually, but like, I freaking hate jeans, dude. Like, I just wanna buy dresses, and I wanna buy more like comfy shorts, and I'm even down with squirts. I really wanna find a squirt for some reason. I'm just about it. Um, biker shorts that are more comfortable. I just need to do some more shopping. I just know that's for sure because I tried a bunch of jeans on that I have and I hated every second of it. I hated every second of trying them on and every second of wearing it. It really sucks. I don't like the feeling like joggers and a t-shirt is like, ugh, love it. But of course it's gonna get hot, which is why I really wanna start looking for some like rompers or jumpsuits or dresses. I will do a shopping haul very soon. I will. I don't know where. Somebody asked me to shop at Shein. I'm kind of thinking I'm down to shop at Shein, but I don't know. I know for sure I want to go to Walmart because I just love shopping at Walmart. And I don't know what else I'll do. But yeah. Today, yeah, it's it's Monday, May 11th. It's 1.32. I need to eat some food. I'm so hungry. I have such a bad headache. Is anybody else suffering from allergies? Because it's like I'm taking Tylenol every single day for my headache. And every morning I wake up, I'm coughing. But then the cough goes away. And I just have like nas post-nasal drip sometimes. And yeah, the allergies have just been bad over here. And it's really bothering me. Um, I did a really nice workout today. I feel so good, you guys. I um, did 30 minutes on the treadmill. And I even did some weight training. Just some very light weight training for 15 minutes. So a total of 45 minutes workout. That's great. We're getting back up to where we used to be, we're getting fit again, you know? I had to get back into shape, especially before I go back to work. But um, yeah, just got out the shower and just got ready for the day. Today's laundry day, I've been really neglecting my laundry. I hate laundry, dude, I really do. But I've been really neglecting it. And I noticed that my kids were running out of like underwears and I was like, oh snap, I forgot laundry was a thing, let me, let me focus on laundry today. And so I've, I'm already running my third load of the day. And um, also we're running out of towels. So yeah, I did do the dishes already. So I don't know, I'm feeling pretty accomplished. And now I get to sit down and eat some food and I deserve to watch Charmed. Oh, 
So I also realized I forgot to keep you guys updated on how I'm loving my mattress pad. But I don't think I've mentioned it. I don't think I have. But I just want to let you know I'm loving the mattress pad. I'm loving it. I'm having such good nights of sleep. It's actually kind of hard to get out of the bed in the morning because it is so comfortable. And I do highly recommend that um, if you are in the market um, for making your bed more comfortable. If you're like me, I have an older bed, but I can't quite afford to get like a new bed at this time but i did want to make it more comfortable get maybe like another year or two out of this bed and then we'll upgrade at some other time it is so comfortable it feels so good and i look forward to getting in my bed like every night you guys and at first hubby is so like critical of the things that i buy he's so funny like I'll be like, oh, we need to get this because it's gonna be awesome for this. And he's just like, I don't need that. I don't need that. No, it's dumb. We don't need to get that, you know? Cause like I'm the shopper and he's not as much of a shopper as me. So I'm like always trying to find reasons why I need to buy something. And he was like, nah, we don't even need that. It's not even like cool. It's not even comfortable. And then um, a few days after using it, he was like, all right, so the pillow and the mattress pad that you bought me is like the best thing ever. And I was like, I know, I know you're welcome. He's like, yeah, I've been getting such good nights of sleep and I didn't even realize how badly I needed something more comfortable until you bought these things. And it's just the best thing ever. And I'm really glad you bought it. And I was like, I know. Hello. Mother knows best. <laughs> Wife knows best. Mother knows best. That's on period. So I'm so happy that like it's that he like changed his mind. I th I just think it's so funny that he's so quick to judge something. Like he's so quick to judge a product until he uses it for a little bit, and then he's like, "All right, I was wrong." And I'm like, "I know. I don't even know why you waste your breath like telling me your first thought when you need to wait and try it out and then see." But he's loving it. I'm loving it. The combination of those pillows and the mattress pad are just so good. It was definitely worth the money. Also, the underwears that I bought, I'm obsessed with. Today, I'm wearing the banana colored ones. They are, okay, so the cotton ribbed boy shorts are the best. I got two other underwears in that haul. They're okay, but I'm telling you, the cotton ribbed boy shorts, you need it. It is so comfortable. There's something about the little stitching at the top that keeps it from rolling down your belly. So the seamless ones I really liked, but under the dress they were rolling down. So I'm wondering if I wear jeans with them, will they not roll down? Even though I don't want to wear jeans, but you know what I mean. Um, but I will say that the cotton ribbed boy shorts I've worn with all kinds of different outfits and they are the most comfortable. Um, they don't ride up my butt and they don't roll down my belly. And those are two things that's really hard to find. That's a hard combination. So I really want to get some more at some point before they don't sell them anymore. Because Victoria's Secret does this annoying thing. My kids are being loud. Victoria's Secret does this really annoying thing where they bring in awesome products and then they take them. Keep getting interrupted by my kids. Okay, so what I was going to say was Victoria does, Victoria's Secret does this thing where they bring in awesome underwears and then they discontinue them. And it is so annoying because there was these shorts, I mean, years ago, years and years and years ago, they were called the Lace Trim boy shorts let me know if you remember those but they were my favorite to this day i still have some because victoria's secret panties they usually last pretty long so i have some that are like i don't know eight years old or something and it was lace trim around the top lace trim around the legs areas so everywhere it was a lace trim and it laid nice and flat so that you couldn't really see your panty lines and it just covered everything and they don't they don't roll down and i loved those lace boy shorts and then they took them away and that was super annoying and then they came out with lace boy shorts that only had the lace around the belly part and they were okay but they weren't as good as the original and then it's like they took the complete lace thing away and they came out with like stuff where it has like the band that thick band around the tops and i i don't like those because those thick bands they cut into your stomach but these little bands and if you didn't see my panty haul i'll just like show you the tops of my underwears and hopefully i don't i'm not gonna get demonetized from this but like you just see 
how this like tiny little okay it's just yes i have stretch marks i have two kids guys i'm not a i'm not embarrassed about it i don't care um but that little band that little stitching at the top and around the legs it's like thin enough and flat enough yet secure enough that it stays where it's supposed to stay i freaking love these underwears and so that's why i'm nervous like oh of course i'm gonna love an underwear and you know they're gonna do what they do and they're gonna get rid of it at some point so next time i get you know next time i get like 50 bucks to spend i'm gonna go get more because i only have four of them and i i want more because they're so so comfortable and i don't really notice that they show too much of a panty line in my opinion i don't really notice it i don't really care because i care about my comfort more than i care about what people think about my freaking panty lines so that's just where i'm at in life right now like i'm 30 like i really don't care what other people think about the kinds of underwear I want to wear or the types of outfits I want to wear. Like, I just really don't give a fuck. I, I care about my comfort. So that's where I'm at with that. And it's a beautiful place, you guys. And if you're not there yet, when you get there, it's just, let me tell you, let me tell you, it is just amazing. It is just amazing when you have confidence and you just only care about what's important to you and not important to other people. Oh, man. It is a beautiful place to be. So, uh, yeah, I am drinking some iced coffee because I'm kind of feeling, like, tired. Um, since I've been working out again, I've been getting very tired on those days. And I've been waiting on my matcha to come in the mail. I ordered matcha from Amazon because I just really miss having that afternoon pick-me-up without the crash. And I feel like matcha is just... You guys know I love matcha. I just haven't had it in a while. And the one that I did have um, before I moved here, it was expired. So I had to toss it out. So I got some new matcha and I really miss having matcha tea lattes. And it's a good pick-me-up. It makes you feel energized, but like you don't crash like you do with coffee. And then I checked the mail this morning. It wasn't there. And then I got, cause I have this USPS like email alert thing where it'll tell me when I have something in my mailbox and it said that it was delivered to my mailbox. And I already went to go check the mail and I'm annoyed cause how they have it here is it's like a bunch of mailboxes down the end of the street so you have to like walk there or drive there it's, ugh. usually amazon delivers to my front doorstep but i guess because it was such a small package they put it in my mailbox but i have specific instructions to put it in front of my door because i hate going to my mailbox and i can't leave my kids here and i already brought them earlier and they walk so slow and it's like frustrating for me so i really wanted to drink my matcha and i can't it's already 3.48 and hubby has a very long day today. So I don't know. He might be home at like 5, 5.30. So I'm just going to tell him if he can grab that from the mailbox and then I can just drink it tomorrow. But I'm so excited. I love matcha tea lattes. I'm like so excited. Um, Let's see what else. I don't really have anything else planned. I mean, I'm still running laundry. I don't, I probably won't fold it today. I'm being completely honest with you. The way that I do laundry is I wash it, I dry it, and then I don't fold it until like four days later, maybe a week later. That's that's how I live my life. I hate folding it and putting it away, but washing it, you know, it's not that bad. Um, I had to take a break from watching Charmed because we were watching it for like hours and now the kids are playing upstairs and I took all my nails off because while i was doing laundry one popped off and then i was sitting here on the couch and the pinky popped off and you know one once that happens i'm like okay i'm over it just take them off so i took off all my nails i'm not sure if i want to paint them i'm not sure if i want to put other nails on i don't really know yet what i want to do with them good morning y'all good morning it's tuesday i just got dressed in my workout clothes but i had the urge to put some nails on and I don't know why I'm putting them on now but I'm just gonna do it like whatever so every time I get a pack of nails from the store you know how there's like extra like they don't give you just enough for your nails because they have to make sure you have some that fit right I always keep the extras and I can make two sets out of one pack 
I always can. There's usually one that fits me like a little bit on the bigger side and one that fits me a little bit on the smaller side. So I have these nails that I got like, I want to say like two years ago for when I went to Massachusetts because it wasn't this past vacation, was it? Yeah, it was when I actually it was it was when I went to my friend Ashley's wedding and they're these purple like matte long nails and they have Sparkle ones and they also have iridescent like mermaid looking ones But the set that I have that I could make to fit my nails because I still have like I want to say like four or six nails left, but they just don't fit me the set I have is this right here So it's just one glitter nail whoo and then the rest is like lavender matte and I was like should I waste these nails but like who cares I bought them like two years ago or a year ago and I haven't used them since because you know why I can't wear long long nails to work because we punch in with our fingerprints and it won't work and also carrying plates and all that stuff it's just too hard to open stuff and to do what I gotta do at work and then also um, when I would bring my daughter to school, I'd have to put Austin in and out of the car seat and I can't open the car seat buckle with the long nails or else they would break. So I've never been able to wear the long ones unless we're on vacation. And I'm like, okay, I go back to work in like eight days. Um, let's just wear these long nails now. Like, let's just wear them. They'll probably only last about that amount of time. So I'm just gonna wear them and live my best life until I go back to work because I won't be able to wear long nails again. So I'm about to put these babies on because I don't feel like having natural nails. <laughs> and just like that, and just like that, we a bad B once again, once again. I'm obsessed. I love it. I love long nails so much. I wish they weren't so uncomfortable to do things with because it really is so annoying when you're trying to do like certain things like button shirts or like putting in your nose ring. I put in a new nose ring because I know that when I go to work, I can't wear the hoop. So I put this one in now. Um, it, it's annoying to do little things, but they are so freaking gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I will say that this pack is one of the older kinds from Kiss and I feel like they are too thin. So like I remember bending them by accident um, when I was trying to do stuff when I was on vacation with these a while ago. They are on the long side. I mean, they are on the thin side and I feel like if they're going to be long, they need to be thicker, but it's okay because we have, we got nobody to impress but ourselves and we're not going to have them on for that long. So it's fine but i feel like i bet you the kiss long nails nowadays they've made them better so i really want to get some for like vacations or when i just want to have them on for my days off just being cute y'all i'm all super sweaty because i just finished my workout on the treadmill and it's actually pretty humid outside i don't know what the temperature is 68 but like look at me dripping sweat because it's raining so it's like humid Anywho, I just started watching um, Too Hot to Handle on Netflix because I like to just sit my phone down on the treadmill and watch a show so that the time passes. And I'm like, I'm only on episode one, you guys. <laughs> okay, I love reality shows. I really do. I don't care how stupid they are. I love it. But this show has all women who are size zero to size two. That is so rude and so ugly that a show would literally only have one body type. They all have fake tatas and they're all a size zero or a size two. What? Did you really think that nobody would want some thickness, some curves in there? Because all the dudes are muscle. Like every single dude has a rocking bod and muscles. And let me tell you something that you may not know, you may already know. But bodybuilders, muscle dudes, sneaky, they sneaky are chubby chasers. They are. They are chubby chasers. I can't tell you. I, I'm not going to go into my past, but let me, let me tell you from experience. 
Muscle dudes, they like chubby chasers. They might date the little petite women for like their image, but behind closed doors, you know who they're calling. You know who they're hitting up. You know who they're going over with and who they're having over to their house. It's thick chicks, chubby chicks. I'm telling you, it's so funny, but you would think that somebody with such a perfect body or the, you know, what America thinks is a perfect body would like somebody else with an equally perfect body, but they actually love chubby chicks. Like ever since I was younger, muscle dudes have chased after me because I've always been chubby. <laughs> I think that's so funny that they all have like cigarette bodies on this show. That is so ill. Like we're in 2020 Netflix. You should have some some variety up in there. And you should have some thick dudes too because girls like thick dudes. I think thick dudes are cute. I think thick dudes are attractive. Skinny dudes are attractive. Muscle dudes are attractive. Honestly, so many different types of people in this world are attractive. Everybody has their own thing about them that makes them attractive, yet they put two body types. Bodybuilder, cigarette body. That's all they have on there. That is so disgusting. The only reason reason I'm continuing to watch it is because they're pretty funny. And I, I think the show's pretty funny. I'm not saying the show's bad. I think it's funny. I think the chemistry's good. And you know, it makes you want to keep watching, it leaves you with cliffhangers and stuff like that. But I just think it's so ugly that they only put one body type per sex. That is just so that is just so 2000s, like, come on, er, like early 2000s. That is so millennium. That's so 2001. Really? Because I know I'm going to get questions on how I make my ice matcha tea latte. I'm just going to give you a quick, what do you call it? Tutorial. Quick, yes, tutorial. <laughs> um, so I got this in the mail yesterday. I ordered it from Amazon. So if you want to order some, here is what... This one looks like the brand. I think it's like seven something, so like eight bucks, and you get 1.06 ounces. There's 10 servings in here. Um, so it's unsweetened and all that. It's pure matcha powder. And you're gonna take a teaspoon and you're gonna take a heaping teaspoon out of there. I like to shake mine because that's how it mixes the best, especially when it's cold. But if you don't have a shaker, um, you're just gonna have to stir for like a super long time. <clears throat> and I have about, I would say, 10 ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I put a little splash of this sugar-free vanilla syrup by Tarani. And I'm going to put some ice in here and shake it. And that's it just helps to mix the powder in. That's how we did it at Starbucks. Um, what is that? Oh, Bailey needs her food. So, <laughs> Bailey was trying to open the cabinet. So, if you do not have a mixer, I would suggest mixing it, the liquid into the powder little by little, room temperature, not super cold because it's harder for powders to mix with cold. And you're just gonna have to stir it for a while. You can use a whisk or, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this. I could totally use this for it too. If you have one of these electric um, mixers and these are pretty affordable. You can find them on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I just used the strainer on the top of the shaker so I didn't have to have any ice in here. So I don't have to use a straw. And that is my matcha tea latte.